Yo, what's good, fellas? So, obviously, as the title, you guys can see, we are doing best RLCS presets from the 2024 Worlds that just took place a couple days ago, where BDS took it all home over G2, finishing second place. Um, and yeah, guys, I got the best settings for you guys, as long uh, as well with a bunch of presets with the exact car colors and all that. So yeah, I know we're always looking for new presets um, and different settings and stuff, but unfortunately for settings, it typically is all preference to this day, and it is still a lot of the same exact stuff. Um, so for camera, this is what I got. These are like some Daniel settings, um, Zen settings. It's it's kind of all similar. Some players use closer stuff like Monkey Moon, different stiffnesses and all that, Seiko and them. Um, but yeah, these are what I got for my setting sensitivity, aerial sensitivity, controller dead zone and all that. You guys can mess with it as you want um, for yourself, but this is like pretty much like an average setting that most people probably use, uh, most pros. And then these other settings, you guys can just... I don't even know if you need this stuff, right? This is just extra stuff. But yeah, if you want to pause these camera settings, go ahead. Um, and yeah, man, let's get right into the presets. So for the first decal I have is Kaleers from Falcons. They obviously um, ended up placing top four at Worlds. But this was a preset that a lot of people were like, yo, what is that decal? Um, let me actually see. I didn't actually own this decal. This one was called Fire Gold uh, Multichrome. So... Yeah, if you guys want to use this, it was in the item shop a couple weeks ago, but it's not there anymore. But you can go to Baki's Mod if you're on PC and obviously use it. Also, if you guys have the old decal Fire God, it's kind of similar to it, but this one kind of changes colors over time. Um, but yeah, this was the preset he was rocking. He had a black Phoenix with, um, yeah, ignore this. Remember, the decal is called Fire God, Fire God Multichrome. And then these are the colors that I got for it that are as similar as possible. But it does, remember, the colors will change constantly, so it doesn't really matter on this one. It's kind of just preset to the colors. And yeah, then he had white Zombas with it. You know what's kind of cool is white Zombas are low-key making a comeback in Rocket League. Thank God, because, I mean, everyone just uses Cristianos, and yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, so now let's get into all the other presets that I do have all the stuff of, um, the items. And yeah, man, first one I got is, um, for you guys, is Seiko off of Gentlemates. They obviously didn't place as well as they wanted to. Um, and yeah, you can probably expect a lot of these rosters to make changes coming up. I wouldn't be surprised if they make a change because these players nowadays, if unless they're at the top of the top, um, winning every tournament, they're realistically probably going to want to change. Let's be real. But yeah, on this side, it is nitty gritty decal with Finnick. Um, I think he uses actually a gray Finnick, just the, just a regular one. But a lot of people use a black Finnick nowadays because it feels lighter. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, the ones that are probably copying these presets. But yeah, he's got pearlescent as the paint finish anodized the secondary and then on this side he actually has matte and anodized so here's the colors for you guys if you want to pause it you got this like weird blue with this purple and then the matte top right and then again the same purple on the other side i think the blue side looks really clean with the glossy so i'll probably rip this and rank a little bit um and then we got uh regular standard he's one of the few people that doesn't use alpha boost which is kind of cool because obviously alpha boost you can't get anymore because you can't trade and it's thousands and thousands of dollars most people don't want to spend money on that Thankfully, when I got it, it was like, I got it like four or five years ago and it was hella cheap. Um, and I got it from a dono goal because I wouldn't have bought it either. I, I thought it was too much at the time, but you know, shout out to the stream back then for uh, supporting and doing it. And then he usually uses one of these goal explosions, uh, Yeehaw. And I think he usually uses titanium white and then white laser wave. Most people use classic or white laser wave nowadays. You guys will see that on probably most of these presets, but that's the first one we got for you guys. Next one, we got, you guys have seen this car, and I thought I would put it in there because you're going to see a bunch of different variations of it, of players using it with maybe a little bit different blue or something. But yeah, for the most part, this is the preset you see just constantly out of everybody. They got this orange anodized. This preset, I mean, I hope we get new ones in the future, but this is a preset everybody uses. Rawas, Zen, I mean, the list goes on and on. Literally every player at some point of the land probably uses the preset, Yan, etc. Um, but yeah, they're using black Fennec with no no decal, anodized pearl because it take you don't need it on the second because it takes up both sides. Here's the car colors for you guys if you want to rip them, copy them, go for it. And yeah, man, I mean you guys know you guys have seen this preset a thousand times. I'll fly through it because I'm pretty sure most of you guys all have it. They all rock Alpha Boost with it, and then um, they rock Airstrike Goal Explosion is like randomly became like a big thing, right? Most people will use some sort of painted one. The re here's the regular one, and then crimson. I don't even know why I have this one. It literally looks the exact same, just barely red. And then white laser wave is what everyone uses. And yeah, that's it for the Rawas, Juicy, Zen. I just named it whatever because literally everyone uses this. 
Next preset I have for you guys is LJ. You guys already have seen this, but he only uses this damn car. SSG actually had a really good world. Um, I was hyped to see Chicago do well with LJ and Hoxer, former teammate. You guys know I say that all the time. Cool to see him going on doing good things while I'm sitting here watching Rocket League, right? But we got SSG decal, one of the OG decals. If you got Bakke's mod or you were an OG person, Sypical was the first person that really made this preset huge. And yeah, he kind of, when LJ signed to this team, who knows what he's going to do in the offseason. Rumors he's already joining Gen G. You know, people have been saying that for months. Um, this video comes out. Yeah, I'm recording this today, which is Tuesday. White Reapers, by the way. Let's keep it rolling. But yeah, there's already rumors of Jack um, already off Gen G, pretty much. And they are moving forward with Chronic and First Killer. And, you know, LJ is, I'm pretty sure, friends with Chronic. So you never know. It depends what LJ's contract's like, his buyout, etc. But yeah, he's got white dueling dragons, but he popped off at land, bro. It was fun to see. He's a beast. Also, LJ does use sparkles. Um, actually, I think he Bakke's mods it over it and actually uses alpha boost. But what you see is sparkles. So if you want to copy it, rip it, right? This preset Vati was using before Worlds. Um, so this is a Vatira preset I got. He was using black Fennec, luster bar decal, anodized pearl on this side with black and then this purple um, or like whatever you want to say, pink, purple, with black secondary again. But he was using um, not alpha boost, so Cristiano wheels and black standard. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have standard. You can copy this if you want. It's a pretty cool preset that doesn't require alpha boost. I know a lot of presets, it's tough to get them out here these days because everyone's using alpha boost, but you have to use something else. And then goal explosion, I just ripped the uh, Carmen Corp because that's probably what they use. Um, I think he was using maybe dueling dragons, but you, you get the point. Next we have is Abjack, speaking of the devil from uh, a moment ago. We got Abjack. He was ripping out worlds. Gen G, I think they liked their players to use the decals because at one point they had them all using them at like the EWC land. And then they all took them off. So who knows? Maybe the players didn't want to use it. Some of them complained about it. But Jack was ripping this at worlds. Um, it is the Gen G 2024 decal, which you can actually get in the item shop. You go to your item shop and then you go to all the way to the right, esports, um, North America. You'll find the decal. I think it's like a couple bucks, two bucks, three bucks. But yeah, if you guys want to got, um, grab it, go for it, right? And then he uses standard boost. Um, yeah, kind of cool seeing him rock standard boost. Another preset that anyone can use. You don't have to have a boost, which is obviously this one. So yeah, standard boost, Genji, decal, and then classic goal explosion. Or obviously they have their own goal explosion. If you want to get an item shop as well, if you're even more of a fan of them. And then trail, like I said, most players are gonna use laser wave, um, it's old battle pass one or classic. Jumping into the next one, we got TRK from Falcons. You guys know who he is, obviously a beast, plays with the twins. Um, he was rocking regular Fennec, and this is again those anodized colors, if you guys wanna copy them. But for this one, he was actually using gold stones. Gold stones are a wheel that came with alpha boost back in the day. If you got the game, um, like you sent out like a certain amount of codes to buddies to download the game so that they could get more promo for their game. And yeah, these wheels actually cannot get them anymore either. They're not tradable and yeah. So those are the wheels he's ripping with it. If you guys want to block his mod over or whatever and then dueling dragons and white laser wave as always. Next car we got, you guys have seen the best NA player right now cur currently. Um, I don't think it's even discussion. Beast mode's the best player in North America at times in the world. There was at the worlds he played incredible. But yeah, you'll see some variation of this deep neuro network with black. Also a lot of them use um like crimson, right? So the eye will be red instead of and the, on the other side it'll be blue. So if you guys want to I'm not going to go all the way down, but they'll either use red on the red side or blue on the blue side, so the eye ends up being red or a lot of the time they'll use like a straight up dark uh, version of it like this. And yeah, so the colors are dark blue, black, red, and dark um, red, this red down here, and then black secondary. And then he uses OEM wheels. And then beast mode on stream and stuff for you guys, you see him using crimson sparkles. He actually Bakke's mods over it. So he's using a, um, yeah, alpha boost, as you guys can see. Um, I should probably turn up the audio for you guys. I didn't even think about that. There you go, now you can hear the boost a little bit better. But yeah, there is that for you guys. And then Goal Explosion just got the G2 one on because obviously he's on the org. And I bought this de this decal or um, not decal, Goal Explosion a while ago because who knows? I think they took out Goal Explosions permanently. Who knows if they bring them back? But I thought it was one of the nicer ones, so I bought it. 
This preset, obviously Diaz didn't play at Worlds, but it's one of those presets. Atomic was using similar colors to this at LAN. So I figured I'd leave it in, but a black Fennec, um, again, and then, but these were the colors he was rocking, uh, Diaz. Atomic was rocking this orange side during the LAN. He had a great LAN. Obviously that one mistake is probably gonna haunt him for a while, but shit happens, right? You, you grow from it, you learn. They were all picking each other up on uh, Twitter saying like, hey, when does the team lose the team, all that stuff. So that was cool to see as an NA fan. I don't even know what I'm spilling about right now. I'm just kind of talking um, because how inter how entertaining can you make um, showing presets, right? But yeah, uh, this, he usually uses pink standard, which is kind of cool. So Diaz was rocking pink standard in his show matches. He's honestly been one of the best like top five lunch player in the world recently. So if you guys want to rip this um, and you don't require alpha boost, he uses uh, Kachow Gold Explosion I've seen a lot of the time and then White Laser Wave. Getting into more world's presets, you actually saw this on like day one and two out of a couple pros. I saw Vati, apparently Vati was using it in scrims or something. And then you had um, Beast Mode and the whole G2 team loaded in with it. I saw Yanni using it at LAN. So this was kind of a new preset that you haven't seen people use. Um, a regular Octane, or you can go with a black one, but I got the regular one on here. Shisha decal, this decal was popular years ago in 2020. It was the main decal everyone used. I also have another variation of this, which Archie used. I'll show you guys later in the video with his colors. But yeah, they got matte paint finish with this blue, black secondary, matte paint finish again with this um, orange right here, if you guys want to pause the video. And then over here, we have the black secondary again with OEMs. And yeah, some people were using Alpha Boost, but also I saw like Yan and Batira using Bubble. Um, this, this is low key, kind of in ranked and stuff and playing with your friends. It's hard to see the boost. So if you guys want to kind of be annoying and it's harder to tell when the person's boosting on the other team, you could be that guy as well, Rock Bubbles. And Goal Explosion, Air Strike, I got on for this one. And Classic Trail. And that's it for that one. Beast Mode, Yan, Batir, a bunch of people use this decal. And this was a Vati Worlds preset that I saw. And the main reason I have this one is because he was rocking a Goal Explosion that a lot of people are probably like, what is that? Well, Black Fennec, here's the colors for you guys. Again, similar to the other one I showed you. If you guys want to rip it, copy it, go for it. Pause the video if you want. Cristiano's Alpha Boost. And then for the Goal Explosion, Tesseract. You're probably wondering, Kev, how do I get this? I don't even see where this is at. Well, while all the players were playing, Worlds came out with a bundle right here at the top. So if you go to your um, item shop, click on Worlds at the thousand, you get this limited time decal. Not a big fan of the decal. The goal explosion is pretty cool though. Um, and yeah, it's for this theme, so it'll never come out again. So if you guys want to get it, go for it. I bought it because I obviously play this game and do content for a living. So felt like I was forced to, right? Uh, but we'll keep going into it. Making sure my mic and stuff works. Imagine I'm recording this whole time and it doesn't. But yeah, and then for the trail, white laser wave, as always. This was a preset, like I said, Zombas are slowly making a comeback. So here we go with this one. Yan was ripping this. I saw Zen rocking it as well. So if you guys want to get a Zen Yan preset, Black Fennec, Luster Bar, here are the colors on both sides. Make sure you rock Anodized Pearl on this. Um, and you can do and dice if you want a secondary, but yeah, Yan was playing really good on this car. Zen used it for a couple of games and switched off it and went to this car with Cristianos and kind of went to uh, some of the others. Hey, Jolly just got on world champion. Shout out to Jolly. Okay. But white Zombas are popular um, or so slowly getting popular again, which is cool to see. They were rocking Alpha Boost. If you don't have Alpha Boost again, just use whatever Bakke's mod, another standard boost, Sparkles. And white Laser Wave Trail. Pretty cool car. It looks good. It feels good. It looks speedy. Um, and yeah, I'm cool. I'm happy to see White Zombas making a comeback. This preset, you guys definitely saw Atto rocking at Worlds. I'm going to show you guys everything about it right now. We got a black Finnick with a titanium white. I think Marid sh uh, Shard. Marid Shard. I don't know how to describe it. Judge me. I don't care. Um, but yeah, this is what he's got. Titanium white. You guys probably have it. I think it was from one of the Rocket Passes. Um, so if you guys own the rocket passes, they, you get all these painted um, from the previous seasons. Here are the colors for you guys. This blue, this black, this yellow, and secondary is black again. I think this decal, honestly, when he was rocking this on stream, I was like, ah. and then he started popping off. I was like, ah. right. White Zombas again are slowly making a comeback. It's cool to see. Alpha boost and then goal explosion. I got their goal explosion rip, uh, repping it for them. 
and yeah white laser wave so Atto had a cool preset during worlds a new one that we've never seen and he played well on it so more more people are likely to copy it right keeping in uh keeping it going we got oski from oxygen who weren't supposed to be invited to worlds we got a regular finnick coming up with these colors right here anodized pearl if you guys want to pause the video keep uh do it go for it that way we can keep it going but yeah he was rocking this car with um pink standard boost and oxygen if you as you guys know weren't supposed to be at the land they ended up showing up because one of the Mina teams couldn't show, show up. So they got the fill-in spot. And they ended up taking out Vitality, taking out Gentlemates. And they made a huge run. And they were all popping off. Again, I have a couple of the guys. I have Archie's preset coming up in just a second as well. But yeah, he rocks Pink Standard, Classic Gold Explosion, um, and Classic Trail. So yeah, it's a cool decal um, preset. New colors that you don't really see often, which is cool to see. Monkey Moon, obviously, world champion. Incredible two-time. Officially the GOAT, in my opinion. Judge me if you want, um, but I think him winning, making three grand finals in a row since the open air in 2020 when Rocket League really took off. Some people hate me for saying this, but Rocket League from 2016 to 2019, go back and look at the gameplay. It looks like champ champ threes, GC ones, and I give a lot of credit. I love Turbo, obviously friends with the guy, but it's one of those things as the game advances more and more, it gets tougher and tougher to compete. And Winning two world championships at this time in Rocket League when the skill is only be so far ahead, it's, it's beyond impressive. And a lot of people all tweeted out he's officially the go and stuff, including me. And it, it was awesome to see. The dude's a beast. Um, but these are the colors he's rocking with OEM wheels. Secondary doesn't matter because it's glossy. It just takes up with no decal. takes up the whole thing. Alpha Boost Goal Explosion. I got their team um, Goal Explosion on a couple years ago. And we got uh, just regular trail. So yeah, Monkey Moon, the goat now. There's his preset. Then we got Archie, had that incredible pass you guys saw where they took out Vitality and Gentlemates. Regular Octane, Shisha Decal, and he's rocking the OG colors from years ago. Except, instead of rocking Diechi's, what everyone was rocking years ago, he's rocking OEMs and King Standard. So this is the cool preset that a lot of you guys can rock. Um, and remember guys, if you do not have some of these items, go to your blueprints right here. Go to your blueprints. You probably have like every decal you didn't think of. And a lot of these, I think they're like a buck um, if you really want it, right? If you don't, you know, it is what it is. And that that concludes it. Um, hey, fellas. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been sick the last like couple days. And those watch parties suck the life out of me because we're talking hard for 10 hours a day. But yeah, if you guys enjoy these presets and settings, let me know in the comments if you want more of these videos. It's hard because there's only so many pros that make new presets. Usually they all copy each other. But I do appreciate you guys for hanging out, watching this video. And um, yeah, man, be sure to drop a like and thumbs up. And until the next one, see you fellas. And then you have to uh, stay on the wall. Oh! Goal of the day! Goal of